Well, students, good evening to all of you. So, guys, in today in our class, we'll talk about all of you know previous notes of B Ed, right? Because every you know weekend I'm taking your classes. In today's, uh, we will discuss all of the uh, you know notes, all of the PPTs which we have finished till today, right, guys? So this is your uh, syllabus part of Kurukshetra University B Ed. So I open it. This is your uh, syllabus of Kurukshetra University first year, right, guys? So in a first year, you have seven papers, right? So this is the detailed syllabus. Yes, you can see that. Be a two-year program according to Kurukshetra University, right? So this is the, now you can see that, okay, I'm going to, you know, uh, increase the font size, be at first year. Okay, total you have the seven paper, guys. You can see that. The first paper is childhood and growing up. Okay, 100 marks question, 100 marks paper. Out of a 100 marks, 80 marks theory would come and 20 marks for internal assessment, right? Second paper is contemporary Indian education. Third, learning and teaching. Fourth, guys, there are two parts, right? Fourth A and fourth B. Language across curriculum, understanding discipline and subject. Fifth is gender school and society. Okay, it is of 50 marks. Okay, remember. Okay, fifth paper is of 50 marks. And six and seven are your teaching subjects. So total B. Ed. first year of Kurukshetra University, marks are 650 marks, right? Under the 650 marks, you have to appear for seven papers. Okay, guys. But in today's our class, we'll discuss whatever we have finished till today. Okay, guys, in a brief, okay, because I have discussed everything in detail. But, you know, many students joined my class later on so that today I'm giving the, you can say that it is kind of a revision class of all of the previous notes. Okay. So, guys, uh, you can, uh, you know, start your preparations. Okay. So the first lecture I, you know, uh, I conducted a class of a, you know, first lecture, the first lecture that was based on your education, right guys, if you know that. And after the class, I will send all the PDF to you. Okay. Or even on my telegram channel, right guys. So first we talk about the education, right? So everything I'll discuss in brief, right? So what is education? Education, guys, it is a, as old as the human race. It is a never-ending process of a once inner growth and development, right? So education, you can stretch the education from the cradle to the grave, okay? Even if anyone asks from where the education starts, it starts from the cradle. Cradle bolte hai jhule ko. And ends in the grave. Grave matlab kabr. Means education never ends even aadmi khadam ho jata hai right the whole life is an education guys okay so why i'm discussing here i'm just telling you don't think that ki by going to the school and colleges you get educated okay it doesn't mean because you know 150 years before or 125 years before there was no school guys okay but you can't say 150 years before you no, know, the person were not educated, right? So education is a very comprehensive term, okay? You have to understand. Even, you know, your name of your course is B.Ed. The full form of B.Ed is Bachelor of Education, okay? So whatever the graduations you have done, even B.Sc., B.Com., B.A. and others, so guys, that was a degree. This is a, you know, education, okay? Here, you will come to know that under the course of a beard, you have to learn how you have to teach. Okay. Not the learning part. Okay. Learning is a okay. But the focus is that you should know how to teach. So don't prepare like, you know, you prepare in your previous classes, like in a graduation. Right. So guys here, the concept should be cleared. Okay. Do you know what is the main purpose of beard? The main purpose of a beard is that you should be able to teach in front of, you know, many of the students, right? This is called, you should know how to teach. 
पढ़ाना कैसे है दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ए बी एड ओके सो नेवर मग अप ऑल ऑफ द वर्ड्स ओके जस्ट क्लियर यूअर कंसेप्ट ओके एंड सो दैट you know you can teach effectively to all of the persons all of the students right guys so guys education basically uh, it is derived from three latin word number one educare number second educere number third is educatum okay what is the meaning of education educare educare means to bring up or to nourish okay like mother nourishes his her son or her daughter same way you know you have to you know nourish to your all of the student in your class right if you are you know taking the class of a 30 students so guys all of the 30 students it, it should be in your mind okay when you are sleeping in the night okay you should have in your mind okay these are my 30 students right okay how many is are how many are average how many are bright how many are weak okay on which students you have to do the work this is the meaning of a education this is the meaning of the teaching this is the meaning of the beard okay are you getting okay and second word is a educeer educeer means to draw out nikalna the meaning of a education is not pouring into the mind of the student the meaning of education is nikalna okay guys you cannot say that you have done lot of work right that's why your student got the 90% marks okay actually whatever the students gets the marks it depends upon the intelligence of the student or the genes of the student or you can say to some extent the environment okay right so basically you can say that with your teaching styles okay you have aroused the learning power of the student you have inspired the student okay this is the meaning of the teacher right so educare hame kya batata hai educare means the meaning of education is to draw out padhane ka kya matlab hai you have to arousing the learning power of the student you have to stimulate the learning power of the student okay stimulating some someone okay uh, the another uh, synonym of teacher is stimulator right uh, appetizer who is teacher matlab jo bhook ko jagrit kar deta hai right appetizer starter right stimulator facilitator you this is a teacher teacher doesn't mean you have to go into the class dominate the student okay and pouring into the mind of the student okay and if you don't know you have to just wasting the time and energy of the student this is not a teaching right guys so that's why na teacher is called the nation builder right guys so all of the three educeer means to draw out or to lead out and educator means the act of teaching and training right guys okay some of the definitions okay many times i have discussed uh, rigved said that education is something which makes a man self reliant and selfless upanishad has said education is that whose uh, whose end product is salvation Nelson Mandela has said that education is the most important weapon in the hand of the teacher by which you can change the world. Swami Vivekananda, most important. मतलब you can learn any one or two definitions. Okay, go for Swami Vivekananda and Gandhi ji. Right, guys. Swami Vivekananda has said that education is the manifestation of the divine perfection already existing in the man. Okay, or the baby. राइट ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी डिवाइन परफेक्शन वो जो ईश्वरीय परिपूर्णता है डिवाइन परफेक्शन ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग इन ए मैन और द बेबी ओके व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ ए टीचर द पर्पस ऑफ ए टीचर इज टू अराउज राइट प्लेटो प्लेटो हुए हैं बहुत ही रिनाउंड फिलोसोफर हुए हैं यू नो दैट यू नो फादर ऑफ आइडियलिज्म राइट प्लेटो हैज सेड दैट एजुकेशन इज द कैपेसिटी टू फील प्लेजर एंड पेन एट द राइट मोमेंट Aristotle, who is Aristotle? Aristotle is the disciple of the Plato, right, guys? Uh, Aristotle has said that education is the creation of a sound mind in a sound body. Creation of a sound mind in a sound body, right? 
and herbert spencer has said that education is the complete living okay so now we talk about nature and characteristics of education so education it, it is a lifelong process you know that ha na we have already discussed education starts from the birth till death education from cradle to grave bipolar process hai right matlab involvement of a teacher and student tripolar process hai even involvement of a teacher student and the environment also uh, society also okay tripolar means the teacher has to teach to the student in the light of social activities social environment okay for example in today's teacher today's teacher has to teach to the student okay by using the examples of a modern technology right it doesn't mean 20 saal pehle aapne bed ki thi aur 20 saal pehle wale notes are you are teaching in the class right tripolar process means the teacher has to teach to the student in the light of social environment what is going into the social environment that's why student okay after bed na you can't say that you have become the teacher okay who is teacher teacher is always learner as the tagore has said that right rabindranath tagore has said that a lamp can never light to another lamp unless or until it burns to continues its own flame it means teacher should be learner first similarly multipolar process lot of a multipolar process like you know you can see that you know technology has come ha huh? radios newspaper internet so there are so many methods by which you can get the education continuous process hai dynamic process deliberate so the important education is a deliberate process right guys do you know that when you go into the class it is a deliberate process right matlab you think before going into the class what you are going to deliver today right after giving half an hour lecture what your student would get okay you have to create the values among the students right so it is a deliberate process sociological process hai education so whatever is happening in the society guys you have to talk uh, to the student whatever is happening in the society okay what the society demands have you ever thought after the 10th class when the student out from your school what you give to the student what you give to the student student is not a robot okay you don't have to pour the syllabus into the mind of a student okay student has come under your custody 6 hours 7 hours you give to the student every day so guys you have to nourish the student uh, you have to develop the harmonious personality of the student right like your baby you you work on your baby the same way you have to work on your student this is the responsibility of the teacher teacher is called the you know real image of brahma this is a reason teacher are called teacher is called the nation builder right uh, process of Uh, p has missed okay process of individual adjustment so education it is also a process of individual adjustment theoretical hai practical bhi hai right so i ask from you education is a theoretical process or practical process how it is a theoretical and practical so it is assignment for you okay tell me next time in the next class how education is a theoretical process and how it is a practical process okay science as well as art okay a child centered process this is the most important it has come on the point number 12 na it should come on point number 1 actually okay guys so move this this heading on point number 1 education is a child centered process right whatever the building you see whatever the teachers you are looking about okay the expertise of the teacher principals building infrastructure technology these all are for the teacher if the student these all these all are for the student are uh, these all for the child aap dekho na what is the meaning of these all the technology these all the building these all the good teachers expert teachers if your student is not satisfied if the child is not satisfied right so everything is a zero one educationist has said that your teaching is a zero 
unless or until student grasp it fully right when you are teaching completes when your students grasp child grasps right so it is a child centered process right all round development so guys you have to do all round development of this student right guys acha next la gaya types of education educations are of a you know three types you know that formal non formal or informal here i will discuss only one point rest of you can learn because we have discussed this topic today it is a revision class right so guys the same way i have just said to you ki education doesn't mean by going into the school and colleges you get educated okay if uh, education is a non formal process as well as informal process also okay one person is not going to the school or college do you know that he or she can be more educated than a literate person gandhi ji has said that gandhi ji has mahatma gandhi ji has done lot of work on the education uh, mahatma gandhi uh, you know gave you know one definitions an illiterate wife can be more educated than a literate wife right guys so education or one becomes educated it does not depend on the schools and colleges right because you can there are so many channels of getting the you know education you can get the educations by home also by your parents also by the society also right you know uh, non formal education correspondence education is a non formal education you don't go to the school or colleges every day after 6 month 1 year you go and give the exam this is called the non formal what is a informal informal means you are getting the educations from anywhere okay matlab it is a not a structured okay by going to the school and colleges this is called the formal education and it is a structured education okay means you get the degree diploma and other things okay but you know there are education is a very uh, comprehensive word right so uh, one come uh, one can get educated by formal education non formal or the informal education okay so these are the types of educations okay now some of the words that are attached with the education so uh, ye mo most of the time you know uh, in short notes na this question comes right education and instruction right is education instruction both are same thing right uh, whether education and training are both are same thing education and schooling are same thing education and teaching are same thing education and literacy are same thing okay so i start from here education and literacy okay so i ask from all of you okay tell me you know uh, whether they both are same same uh, the meaning of you know these terms are same or different tell me okay you are you know uh, done graduation and post graduations okay tell me you are educated or literate according to this statement right so guys here you have to understand what is the meaning of education deep meaning of education and literacy literacy to you know that if one is able to read and write this is called literate hana are you agree with me na right this is called literacy once one uh, know about one knows about how to read and write okay but do you know that after doing the you know graduation post graduation and even the phd okay you cannot say that ki you you are the you know educated person you can say that you are the graduated post graduated but not the educated if your you know behavior is not good with the society right guys right if you you know don't know how to do help other person if you don't know you know the teacher you know who is the teacher teacher should be pure from the heart right guys so education means you have become the educated you have become the civilized you have become the cultured you have become the well behaved person this is called the educated right so this is the difference between educated and the literacy right both are the different thing right so education is the big big word education is the comprehensive word okay literacy is the part of the education similarly you know teaching schooling okay training that comes the educations okay it is a not a full fledged education right 
स्कूलिंग देखो ना इट्स फिनिश अपू द्लस टू आफ्टर द प्लस टू तो देन ओके स्कूलिंग हैज फिनिश ओके बट एजुकेशन गोज ऑन फ्रॉम यू नो अप टू द लाइफ अप टू द एंड इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द you know one person one educationist has said that it starts from the womb of the mother education start from the womb of the mother and ends in the tomb my means kabar mein jaake khatam hoti hai right so these are some of the you know educations and indoctrinations okay indoctrinate indoctrinations means it is called you know when you know any persons uh, you know uh, you know wash your mind okay so in doctor in doctor in nations right filling you know uh, uh, you you can say that unethical values into your mind it is called the indoctrinations okay ye dekho indoctrinations is a process of inculcating uh, you know ideas attitudes you know in into the mind it can be a bad it can be a good right so ye this is all about the educations okay guys so ye first we are done second notes we i am going to open about teaching right so guys teaching concept and meaning of a teaching what is a teaching so uh, you know i have given a you know one definitions of bo smith okay always you have to write and even you have to learn what is teaching teaching is a system of actions intended to induce learning the most important thing what is the meaning of a teaching dekho teaching means if there is a learning then it means it is a teaching right guys means suppose you have given a 10 lectures to your students right and their behavior matlab uh, the behaviors of your students is not modified so it is not called a teaching you know if input is the teaching then output is the learning okay and how you will come to know that the student has learned the only you can uh, you know uh, say that if the modification if the behavior of your student has modified okay what is learning guys learning means modifications of one's behavior right this is called the learning and what is teaching teaching means it results in the learning okay bo smith has given the you know in a one line definition teaching is a system of actions intended to induce learning or produce learning okay if if you are not able to awaken the arousing the stimulate the learning power of the student you are not a teacher even you have done the b ed five times okay so concept and meaning of a teaching teaching is a interactional process most important word interactional right if there is a not interaction with your student if you don't know about your student in your class okay you are teaching to the student from last one year and you don't know about the mental level of the student what your student thinks okay how many students in your class what is the academic record of the students from which family they have come okay what is the level of the students what are the what is the attitude of the students what is the you can say that growth and development of the student intelligence of the student creativity of the student mental level of the students growth and development of the students you know if you don't know about your student so guys wow, what is the meaning of a here you know the word interactional fails right teaching is an interactional process you should know each and every person right so interactional may it comes about teacher learner and the learning material right guys so bo smith ki definitions kar lena even i have given burton also teaching is the ye dekho burton has said that teaching is the stimulation teaching is the guidance teaching is the direction teaching is the encouragement of learning batao kisi ne likha hai teaching means pouring into the mind of student likha hai kisi ne teaching ka meaning ye hota hai syllabus ko khatam karwana this is a teaching टीचिंग मीन्स ये थोड़ा होता है टीचिंग मीन्स क्या होता है टीचिंग मीन्स स्टिम्युलेट करना टीचिंग मीन्स अराउज करना टीचिंग मीन्स डायरेक्शन गिविंग डायरेक्शन टू यूर स्टूडेंट टीचिंग मीन्स इंकरेजमेंट ऑफ द लर्निंग राइट एंड गाइज ओनली दीज थिंग्स यू कैन डू ओनली इफ यू हैव साउंड नॉलेज ऑफ 
educational philosophy. If you have a sound knowledge of a educational psychology, which you are doing in the first paper, childhood and growing up. And if you know about that different kind of, you know, teaching learning process. Okay. What are the teaching styles, learning styles, teaching methods. Okay. Models of teachings, different, different skills of the teaching. Only then you can do these all the four things. Okay. And, and the number one is that every day you have to become learner. Okay. Ask from yourself every day. You are giving one hour to your study. Do you have the library at your, at your place? So guys, you are the teacher. You should know each and everything. Right guys. What is the name of the education minister of India? Tell me foreign minister of India. Tell me how many persons in the, you know, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Batayye. Right. So these all things you should know. You cannot say that ki, I don't know, sir. Right. Mujhe keh do koi baat nahi hai. Okay. But you know, you, you must know you are the teacher. You should know each and everything. What the new thing is coming in the market. You should be aware of that. Right. Teacher ka matlab hota hai. Teacher is a torch bearer to the society. Right guys. Okay. Morrison's ki bhi definitions hai. Flender ki bhi hai. Oh, okay. Very important a flender ki. Okay. But first you learned this. Okay. Baad mein mein aapko ye samjhaunga. Okay. Flender what has done. Nature and characteristics of a teaching. Haan, we are done. Matter of drying out. Causing to learn. Ye dekho. Bada important word hai. Causing to learn. Okay. Ye notes aapko na. Koi books wera mein bohut kam milenge. Okay. Teaching means causing to learn. Okay. You have to, you know. Become the cause. Teacher is a cause. For which purpose? Causing to learn. Right? Teaching is a tripolar, well planned. Okay, we have, you know, many times we have discussed. Okay? Right, guys? Okay. Phases of teaching. Guys, there are three phases of teaching. Always remember. One is preactive, then interactive and postactive. Okay? Preactive me kya hota hai? You prepare your lesson. Okay? You should know about your student. Okay? The mind, mental level of your student, right? About each and everything of the student. This is called preactive stage. Under the preactive stage, you prepare your lesson, you prepare your content according to the mental level of the student, not according to your mental level. Okay. You prepare according to the mental level of the student. This is a preactive stage you are doing, you know, before delivering the lectures, you are preparing yourself. Interactive stage, this is a direct to direct interaction. Okay. Now you have come in the class 30 minutes, 35 minutes. You have to interact with your student. This is called interactive stage and post active stage. This is the most important 95%, even 98% uh, teachers. They do this mistake. This is called post active stage. Guys, post active stage is that, you know, you have to check whether Whatever you have delivered to your students, they have got or not by asking orally, by taking a test, okay, a oral test, written test, multiple choice questions, asking the questions. So this is the post-active stage, okay. So five minutes in your lectures, you have to, you know, remain uh, by asking the, by recapitulations, yeah, by winding up your topic, right. This is called post-active stage, okay. So always, whenever you have to prepare your lessons, prepare your P -P prepare your PPT, prepare your presentations, wherever you are going, so guys prepare from that way, right? Preactive, interactive, and postactive. Okay. Principles of a teaching we have discussed, huh? Principles and you know, these are the general principles and these are the psychological principles. Okay. Well, freedom, sympathy, and kindness, right? Motivation, teacher is a motivator, right? Uh, the one word has added, okay? Teacher is a facilitator, stimulator, right? And, uh, you know, encouragement of a learning, huh? teacher. Teacher is a motivator. Teacher is a, you know, synonyms. Teachers ke. So this quality you should have, right? Cooperative recreations, readiness, right? Readiness means, first of all, you know, make the student ready to learn, right? Yes, I have just discussed. Okay. 
तो ये मैक्सिम ऑफ टीचिंग है टीचिंग कैसे स्टार्ट करनी चाहिए ऑलवेज गाइज टीचिंग स्टार्ट करनी चाहिए फ्रॉम नोन टू अन नोन राइट सिंपल वे से स्टार्ट करो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द टीचिंग फ्रॉम ए सिंपल वे देन गोज टू दी डिफिकल्ट पार्ट नोन टू अन नोन सिंपल टू कॉम्प्लेक्स राइट कॉन्क्रीट टू एबस्ट्रेक्ट सिंपल टू डिफिकल्ट नोन टू अन नोन दिस इज कॉल्ड यू नो द वे ऑफ टीचिंग okay it is called you know maxims of teaching means styles of teaching the way of teaching right empirical to rational psychological to logical right chalo okay ye wala part bhi khatam ho gaya second okay so then third is third lecture i took it you know educational psychology right so psychology kya cheez hai first of all psychology ka matlab hota hai you know teacher is a psychologist also do you know teacher is a philosopher also right it it is said by the rabindranath tagore teacher is a friend philosopher and guide right so guys if you don't know the psychology na you cannot become a good teacher so you have to become a very good psychologist also psychologist doesn't mean you have to do the study of psychology right you have to learn the educational psychology which is in your syllabus right in your syllabus na growth and development hai adolescence hai है ना थियरीज है लर्निंग थियरीज है तो दीज ऑल थिंग्स यू हैव टू लर्न बेसिकली दीज ऑल कम्स अंडर द साइकोलॉजी दैट्स व्हाई आई एम गिविंग यू नो जस्ट लिटिल बिट ऑफ अबाउट नॉलेज ऑफ साइकोलॉजी राइट साइकोलॉजी का मतलब होता है टू नो द अदर्स माइंड दिस इज कॉल्ड द साइकोलॉजी डू यू नो आई नो यू नो एवरी माइंड ओके आई नो अबाउट यू मोर देन यूर सेल्फ एवरी पर्सन डू यू नो मुझे पता है आपके सभी के माइंड के बारे में ओके व्हाट इज योर मेंटल लेवल व्हाट इज योर नॉलेज लेवल फ्रॉम वेयर बैकग्राउंड यू हैव कम फ्रॉम वेयर यू व्हाट यू आर डूइंग राइट हाउ मच टाइम यू आर गिविंग आई नो इच एंड एवरीथिंग राइट सो दिस इज द यू नो फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड नो अबाउट यूर सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट मीन्स नॉट द कंटेंट नॉलेज सब्जेक्ट मीन्स द पर्सन ओके टू होम यू आर गोइंग टू टीच राइट साइकोलॉजी बेसिकली विलियम मैकडुगल इन 1905 हैज गिवन ए वेरी ऑथेंटिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ साइकोलॉजी साइकोलॉजी इज द साइंस ऑफ बिहेवियर राइट तो बिहेवियर बेसिकली अकॉर्डिंग टू दी ड्राइवर ही हैज कैटेगराइज द बिहेवियर इन कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियर अफेक्टिव बिहेवियर एंड कॉनेटिव बिहेवियर राइट कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियर मींस वन हैज यू नो मोर डोमिनेंट uh it is a dominantly knowing thinking solving questions okay this is called the cognitive behavior means cognitive behavior means he he is very you know uh intelligent kind of student ha na cognitive behavior effective behavior means uh it is a dominance of a feeling emotional experience means the persons who matlab uh matlab uh, they are emotional persons ha na we 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 call as a affective behavior cognitive behavior cognitive behavior means the person having the dominance of motor activity cycling digging swimming ha na this is this is called the cognitive behavior okay so basically kya hota hai under the cognitive behavior you you know that you know one one learn swimming within a minute ya yeah, within a one or two days okay the other person takes lot of time right and similarly cognitive behavior means once the person has you know uh, seen the topic and he has learned it but the persons with the emotional behavior or cognitive behavior they take more time right so what does it mean guys behavior driver has categorized into the three part he said that you know we are interacting with the behavior okay means we are interacting with the human beings so now the, the the purpose of a teacher uh, the duty of the teacher is to is to uh, interact with the behavior right this is called the teaching basically this is called the pedagogy right so you are interacting with the behavior okay if you are teaching to the 30 students in the class ya 40 student ya 50 students it means you are interacting with the behavior of the 50 students okay and out of a 50 students some are cognitive behavior means bade intelligent honge okay having more knowledge okay having the very you know cognitive activity thinking activity solving solving problem solving questions ability hogi right and out of a some person should be affective behavior they were very emotional they would be very emotional right 
and some behavior would be like you know like having the dominance of a motor activity and these things okay so uh teaching says that okay being teacher you should be familiar with all of the behavior first then you should know okay how you have to present your lecture in the class so that every kind of a behavior can get benefit from your lecture right this is called the you know that's why it is called that teacher should be a psychologist also right so ye to little bit tha about the psychology okay but in our syllabus we talk about educational psychology so what is educational psychology basically guys education is a full of problems in education you know curriculum problem textbook problem you know there is a lot of a problems okay uh, you know checking problem evaluations problem ओके स्टेट टू स्टेट यहाँ पे सिलेबस कुछ और है दूसरी स्टेट में कुछ और सिलेबस होगा इज अ लॉट ऑफ ए प्रॉब्लम वेन वी सॉल्व द एजुकेशनल प्रॉब्लम साइकोलॉजिकली दिस इज कॉल्ड द एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी राइट वेन वी अप्लाई द प्रिंसिपल्स एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए साइकोलॉजी इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द एजुकेशनल प्रॉब्लम इट इज कॉल्ड एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी वॉट इट चलिए गुड नेचर एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एजुकेशन साइकोलॉजी हाँ ये कर लेना आपने किया हुआ है इजी है ये ये दिस इज ऑल स्कोप ऑफ एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी राइट तो यू नो वट एवर द स्कोप ऑफ एजुकेशन इट कम्स अंडर द एजुकेशन साइकोलॉजी ह्यूमन बिहेवियर लर्नर लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट टीचर हेरिडिटी एंड इन्वायरमेंट पर्सनैलिटी इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस ये सारे के सारे जो टॉपिक्स हैं आपके ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट के these all would come under the scope of educational psychology right guys ye second third wala bhi ho gaya cover ab ye fatafat aap kar lena side by side okay we are from the way we are moving na okay so everything you, you should be learned okay next aa gaya growth and development okay so what is a growth growth means it is a you know quantitative changes okay so there are you know two types of a changes occurs in man's or you know baby body one is a quantitative changes one is a qualitative changes right quantitative changes means which you can measure right this is called the growth okay quantitative changes matlab you can say the changes in height weight okay increase in the heart brain muscle this is called the quantitative changes okay so this is called the growth okay and what is the development development means the qualitative changes means changes in the behavior of the student changes in the mind of the student okay so, uh, this is called the development ye dekhiye development means overall and progressive changes of individual development internal hoti hai aapke behavior mein development ho rahi hai it is a internal na hai na this is a internal in the mind ho rahi hai mind mein there is a lot of a lot of a you can say faculties in your mind na lot of a faculties Do in your mind, देखो attitude in it is in your mind, okay? Uh, aptitude, growth and development, intelligence, creativity, lot of a things happens in the mind, right? So it is internal. Quantitative changes are increase in height, weight. वो external है, है ना? We can see that height of the person, weight of the person, okay? And it is a continuous process. वो जो है growth है, it stops at a certain Uh, period of a time okay if there is a increase in the height it will stop after a 20 years or 25 years it doesn't mean up to the 60 years 70 years height hi uski badhti ja rahi hai theek hai so continuous a development process hai wo it stops at a very uh, you know our particular stage so guys ye aap kar lena theek hai growth and development hai na uh, kafi time we have discussed growth and development okay that's why you know swiftly i'm going principles of a growth and development these all are the principles of a growth and development okay many times we have discussed then heredity and environment we have already a discussed okay this point right guys so it is a simple do you know that okay when we started the class so we discuss in a very detail about growth and development okay next aa gaya piaget theory okay piaget ek psychologist hue hain jean piaget the name of jean piaget okay full name is the jean piaget to so jean piaget ne theory di thi you know cognitive development so even it has come in in the you know last year paper also hai na 
जस्ट यू कैन सी द लास्ट ईयर पेपर ये देखो मैं दिखाता हूँ आपको इवन यू नो इन स्टार्टिंग आई हैव यू नो शो यू यूर लास्ट ईयर पेपर ये देखो चाइल्ड हुड एंड ग्रोइंग अप द फर्स्ट पेपर इज चाइल्ड हुड एंड ग्रोइंग अप राइट गाइज ये देखो डिफरेंस बिटवीन ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट आ गया है ना आई हैव गिवन यू द नोट्स आल्सो राइट पेरेंटिंग स्टाइल के अभी दे दूंगा ये देखो ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट आ गया फुल फ्लेज क्वेश्चन आ गया और ये आ गया कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट है ना विच आई एम गिविंग यू द नोट्स एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग Explain the concept of a cognitive development. Discuss the implications of a Piaget. It is pronounced as a Piaget. Okay, P I A G E T apostrophe S Piaget's theory of cognitive development with reference to Indian context. Right, guys? So, इसको close करते हैं अपन वापस आते हैं Piaget पे. So, Jean Piaget has given the uh, theory of a cognitive development. So, here I tell you about what is a cognitive development. Cognitive development, guys. Cognitive means you know it is in your mind. Activities in the cognition, okay. Cognitive activities, sorry. Cognitive development, mind me. The development in the mind, okay. How your mind develops, how the mind of the baby develops, okay. When the baby is, you know, zero to two years old, okay. What function he does? Then two to seven year old, what function he does? Seven to eleven years, okay. What kind of changes in the mind, you know, आती हैं and फिर in the adolescent age. so jean piaget has given the theory of cognitive development so jean piaget has said that piaget concluded there were four different stages in the cognitive development of the children okay piaget has said that there are four types of cognitive developments happens okay among the children okay what kind of a four kind of development first happens in when he is 0 to 2 year age okay and piaget call them sensory motor stage then 2 to 7 is called pre operational stage then 7 to 11 year is called concrete operational stage and 11 to 16 year is called formal operational stage okay and he has said that after that means ye rehti hai up to you know adolescents and others okay so uh, under this theory what you have to do first of all you have to talk about cognitive development then all of the four stages you have to define with in detail every 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 first point okay for example here i discuss only first point number 1 sensory motor stage okay then pre operational stage then concrete operational and fir formal operational stage so guys what happens between 0 to 2 years okay it is called the sensory motor stage okay तो प्याजे हैज सेड ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड इन्फेंट किड जो है डेवलप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड थ्रू कोऑर्डिनेटिंग सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंस सींग हेयरिंग रीचिंग टचिंग है ना यही है ना अब जो आपका जो बच्चा है जीरो टू टू इयर्स ओल्ड ओके हाउ ही इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद द वर्ल्ड ही और शी इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद द वर्ल्ड विद विद sensory experiences with seeing with hearing with you know motor actions reaching touching hana he comes to know okay because he cannot speak hana up to 0 to aap keh sakte hain 1 and 1/2 year ya 2 years right he cannot speak but he is interacting with the world okay with all the sensory experiences what as he has said that what the student has what the you know kid uh, does Uh, pulls a string putting object in the mouth ab jo bhi kuch do whatever the object you have given to the baby of 0 to 2 years old now he sucks okay he put the objects in the mouth okay ye sare ke sare activities karta hai okay ye sare fir uske baad pre operational stage aati hai 0 to 2 0 to 2 uh, to 7 years old so under the 2 to 7 years old right so what the you know children does so for example ye dekhiye under this a child is able to use an object to represent something else such as pretending ha na matlab he started pretending aapne dekha hoga 2 se 7 year ka 7 saal ka hota hai right so then uske baad concrete stage concrete stage mein kya hota hai basically this is the you know characteristics of the concrete stage 7 to 11 year during this stage children begin to think logically about concrete events they begin to understand the concept of a Uh, uh, 
conservations that amount of the liquid in a short white cup is equal to then a tall skinny glass for example okay means he, he is able to differentiate the things okay but in the previous stages he doesn't know he doesn't know the shape and you know other things now in this stage he'll come to know that okay which amount of uh, uh, water you know it would come in in particular type of uh, rectangle shaped glass or you know uh, any other shape of a glass and last is a formal operational stage guarantee 16 here kya here bata rahe here you know he says that piaget says that at this stage adolescent okay or young adult begins to think abstractly and reason about hypothetical problems abstract thoughts emerges teen begins to think more about moral philosophical ethical social political issue ana you have seen that in the adolescent age ana students have started talking about philosophically ethically ana if they are uh, they are very much loyal to the group ana they are very much loyal to the friend ana sometimes they are talking with the friend they don't you know disclose any of the things they start involving in the you know political uh, uh, political issues and others right so these are the you know four stages given by the piaget so these four stages you have to define okay one after the other right guys so this is the you know piaget theories of learning ye bhi hamara done ho gaya uske baad hai guys hamara you know adolescents right adolescent we have discussed you know many times you know uh, adolescents you know there are you know uh, 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 characteristics or development of the adolescents ha huh, guys you know that uh this one okay growth and development piaget theory hogi adolescents ha wo four types of adolescents hai na i have given you the notes also and you know in details i have given you your lecture also right then aage theory of learning okay there are two theories of learning in your syllabus right uh, uh, uh one is trial and error theory and second is classical conditioning theory right guys so this is the first theory of learning theory of learning is given by the american psychologist hondike in 1898 okay this theory is known as a you know uh, there are you know another name of a theory is where it is written it is called the you know uh, bond learning theory right it is also called the uh, stimulus response theory ye likha hua hai ye ra this theory is called the pleasure and pain theory stimulus response theory bond theory of learning right guys you should know that so it is developed by the american psychologist hondike okay so what is the meaning of a trial and error okay so thorndike has said that you know he was a behaviorist you know he was a behaviorist you can say psychologist yeah right so different different psychologists they are the you know they have given the theories you know watson and uh, uh, you can say ivan pavlev and you know thorndike they are the behaviorist persons okay so they work on the behaviorist uh, on the behavior so under the trial and error thorndike says that uh, any of the person okay they learn by doing mistakes okay what is the meaning of a trial and error they learn by doing mistakes okay so a puzzle box experiment hai with the cat ha na i have you know discussed with you okay he put the cat in the you know puzzle box and he placed the one fish outside of the you know puzzle box then cat you know tried so many times to come out of the cage okay ultimately by chance he put the you know bar and you know uh, the door opens and you know she comes out and got the reward so similarly after doing many of the experiments the so cat cat becomes trained so you know uh, he has given the name of the theory trial and error ki students jo hote hain they learn by making mistakes by doing the so isme important kya hai three laws important hain guys law of readiness law of exercise and law of effect okay and educational implication it is the most important under the trial and error theory right so ye you have to learn by yourself okay i have explained you uh, two three times and then you know conditioning theory so conditioning theory is given by the ivan pavlev what is the meaning of a conditioning dekho base aapko pata hona chahiye right conditioning means when you get the original response from the student by giving the artificial stimulus this is called the conditioning for example teacher says to the student okay guys you have to learn tomorrow i will give you the you know some reward i will give you the toffee i will give you the pen i will give you the copy 
सो वो जो रिवार्ड होता है यू नो रिवार्ड के लालच में क्या होता है कि बच्चा ही स्टार्ट टू लर्निंग राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड द कंडीशनिंग राइट टू कंडीशन सो गाइज यू यू शुड नो दिस टेक्निक आल्सो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थियरीज यू शुड नो दैट ओके राइट सो क्लासिकल कंडीशनिंग थियरी इज गिवन बाय द रशियन साइकोलॉजिस्ट इवान पेबलव दिस थियरी इज कॉल्ड द पेबलेवियन कंडीशनिंग थियरी कंडीशन रिस्पॉन्स थियरी कंडीशन रिफ्लेक्स थियरी रिस्पॉन्डेंट कंडीशन थियरी राइट तो इसने भी इवान पेवलेव ने भी ही कंडक्टेड मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द कैट रेट डॉग ऑल्सो तो देर इज अू नो फेमस एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द डॉग यू कैन राइट इन दिन दिन पेपर ऑल्सो ओके यू हैव टू डिफाइन द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द डॉग ऑल्सो राइट यू नो दैट द है ना बेल जो होता है वो बांध देता है इसमें है ना यू नो अबाउट यू नो बिकॉज यू नो वी आर जस्ट इट इज अ रिविजन क्लास तो ब्रीफली आई एम टेलिंग यू राइट सो गाइज द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज द एजुकेशनल इम्प्लीकेशन यू शुड नो okay so theory to they have given psychologists educationists they have given the theory okay guys but what we have to do we have to deduce the educational implications of that theory so what is the educational implication of this theory this theory talks about matlab hame sikhati hai ye theory kya sikhati hai ki hame we have to conditions our student right even we we should you know give the uh you know some reward of the student okay this theory even teaches us uh if you know uh you are asking a question from the student and student gives the right answer guys you should smile to the student well students you have given a very good answer class please clap for that student right this is also a reward okay it doesn't mean you have to give the toffee biscuits copy pen and others okay if you are a giving such kind of a reward na class clapping for the student you have given a very right answer okay he gets motivated right matlab he says that he is you know uh, he has got lot of you know praise right so you know for the you can say sake of that praise he start learning right so you should know that different different techniques different different abilities okay from way you know you can conditions your students right तो ये सारे के सारे ये देखिए फियर लव हेटर्ड ओके सारी के सारी चीजें ना क्रिएट की जा सकती हैं या जैसे उसको खत्म की जा सकती हैं थ्रू द कंडीशनिंग ओके लाइकिंग एंड डिसलाइकड समाइम्स यू यू नो दैट समाइम यू नो स्टूडेंट द माइंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज गुड बट बिहेवियर ऑफ द टीचर इज बैड स्टूडेंट इज नॉट गेटिंग द गुड गुड नंबर बिकॉज ऑफ द बिहेवियर ऑफ द टीचर द माइंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज गुड are you getting student is intelligent the teaching method of that teacher is not good this is the reason he is not getting a good marks and teacher start labeling to the student ki ye to na like student hai do you know student kabhi bhi na like nahi hota puri duniya mein research says that right so this is the theory of you know conditioning theory right ओके सो ये भी हमारे वी हैव फिनिश्ड ओके देन इंटेलिजेंस एंड थियोरीज ओके डू यू नो अबाउट द इंटेलिजेंस दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट राइट इंटेलिजेंस इज अ वेरी वाइड कंसेप्ट सो मीनिंग ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस डायरेक्टली वी कम टू द यू नो डेफिनेशंस ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इंटेलिजेंस इज द एबिलिटी टू एडजस्ट वन सेल्फ टू अ न्यू सिचुएशन दिस इज कॉल्ड बाय द स्टर्न राइट अल्फ्रेड बिने हैज सेड intelligence is the ability for judgment or a common sense right thondike ye dekho thondike kaun tha he has given the trial and error theory learning theory he said that intelligence has the one's capacity to deal effectively with situation jean piaget kaun tha jean piaget he has given the piaget theories of cognitive development he said it intelligence is the ability to adapt to one's surrounding right aap ek na alag se different ek copy ke upar na just write all the definitions so it is a totally 15 to 20 definitions right in my notes and from the book okay so you can learn easily in fact right guys so intelligence kya cheez hai intelligence is defined as the general mental ability to learn apply knowledge to manipulate your environment as well as ability to reason and have abstract thought this is the intelligence so guys here you have to understand intelligence level of the student if you don't know the intelligence level of the student na you cannot become a good teacher 
Actually, this is called the pedagogy. What is the meaning of a pedagogy? What is the meaning of a teaching? You have, you know, a lot of knowledge about these all the concepts. In-depth knowledge of intelligence. Okay, why it is not, uh, you know, picking this word. Where it is lacking, right? This is called the, this is called the, you know, teaching. Only from that way you can improve your teaching. You can't improve your teaching by becoming master in your subject. Okay. To become the master in your subject, okay, it can be a one point. Okay. But what is the meaning of that? These all the contents are not directly understood by the teacher, by the student. Okay. Learner, they are not getting. So what is, what is the meaning of your mastery? You have a good communication skills, for example. Okay. Aapki English bahut achi hai. You, you, have, you have a very good communication skill. Okay. But your student is not learning. Your student is not, you know, you, you are not, uh, 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 you can say that arousing the learning power of the student. Right. And, you know, contents are not being directly understood by the student. What is the meaning of that communications level? Are you getting? So, intelligence level, you should know that. Okay. So, I tell you one thing. Uh, you know, every parent says that, you know, my student, they should get the 95 or 98% marks. But what happens? Whole of the life, they have, they have, matlab, even parents, they have got only, you know, uh, 50 or 55% marks. Then how it is possible? Their children, they will get the 95% marks. Although environment affects, but not, okay, it can increase the marks of a 5%, 10%, but there's a lot of a difference between the 50 and 95% marks. Right, guys? So, you have to understand the intelligence level of the student and being good teacher, being effective teachers, you have to teach that student according to their mental level. This is called teaching. Got it? So, intelligence ki do theory hai. It was given by the, first theory is given by the Spearman two-factor theory. Right? And second theory is given by the theory is me. Thurston theory. Second theory is the Thurston theory. Right? So, Spearman theory talks about the G and S factor. Okay? So, and Thurston theory, Thurston theory talk about the, you know, these seven, seven factors. Okay? Right, guys? I think this is short notes. I will send you detail notes. Kar dunga iska. Okay. Uh, Thurston theory or uh, you know, Spearman theory. Ka. Okay. Uh, sakta it can be. Okay. I have already uh, sent you. Uh, otherwise, you know, after this class, all of the notes and you know, last year paper I am sending on your, you know, on my telegram channel or on your, you know, numbers. Okay. Uh, and you know, later on, the detailed, you know, uh, detailed of these two theories, I will also send. Okay. Intelligence theories. Okay, guys. Then I got personality and assessment. Okay. So personality ka ek topic liya tha, right? What is a personality? Personality means Alport ki definition guru badi important hai. Okay. From the definitions, you know, I, uh, you know, clear your concept about the personality. Personality is the dynamic organization within the individual of those psychological system that determine his unique adjustment to the environment. Right? So, personality kya cheez hai? Personality basically kisi bhi persons ke andar uske wo psychological system hai jo uski adjustment karwata hai to particular environment. Right? So, personality means constitutions of a mental as well as physical health of an individual. Personality may be defined as the characteristics pattern of behavior that determines an individual adjustment to the environment or a situation. Right? So, personality basically, it is a sum total of ways in which an individual reacts and interacts with each others. Right? Okay, whether you are reacting or whether you are interacting, it talks about your personality. Okay? So, guys, being good teacher, you have to interact with the student. Okay? Yeah, sometimes na, I say that, you know, uh, respond to the student. Okay. So whether react or whether respond. So there is a lot of difference between react and respond. 
ओके नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू बिकम अ टीचर तो गाइस यू ऑलवेज हैव टू रिस्पोंड यू डोंट हैव टू रिएक्ट राइट स्टार्ट गिविंग रिस्पोंडिंग राइट 96 98 परसेंट प्रॉब्लम ऑलरेडी वुड बी सोल्व बाय यू आर रिस्पोंडिंग तो बेसिकली क्या करते हैं वी डोंट रिस्पोंड बींग टीचर समटाइम वी रिएक्ट वी डोंट हैव टू रिएक्ट राइट तो पर्सनैलिटी क्या चीज है पर्सनैलिटी इज द This is called the personality. Okay, whether the teacher is reacting, whether the teacher is responding. Okay, you know, so who, you know, what happens? Student by by fearing na due to fear, they will not ask the question from the teacher because under the under internally they will think that the teacher always react. Okay, they don't respond. Understand you guys? So. If your teaching is a good, but you are reacting, so guys, sometimes from this reason your teaching fails, right? So these all the things you have to develop. That's why in your B.Ed course it is a teaching methodology course. By going through these all the course, you will become a only then only only then you become a good teacher, right? So this is the nature and characteristics of a personality. Personality is always dynamic. It determines our thinking, reasoning, and actions. It is a both. physical and psychological personality develops through social interactions right it develops through social interactions ye dekhiye to so guys aapka jo social interactions hai na it should be with the good people not with the bad people right because because it is developing your personality right okay start making good friends okay if you are you know uh, your old friends and you know they are not good okay so guys start leaving those friends start making good friends because it is developing your personality you even sometime you don't know okay you have a you know very bonding very good bonding with your friend but you don't know you know what kind of a values he is giving in, into your mind so guys wo it is nourishing your personality so because personality develops through social interaction every personality has some unique personality has organized an integrated system personality refers to the process of a adjustment to our environment theek hai ye assessment humne topic kiya nahi ye later on karenge okay notes you can see it right guys assessment of a personality okay if you remember only personality part we did it okay ab ye up to 1 to 9 tak kya tha what was it was of a paper 1 and paper 2 uh, paper 1 and paper 3 right childhood and growing up and uh learning and teaching right paper 3 i'm now 10th 11 12 13 14 ye sare ke sare aapke paper 2 mein aa jayenge contemporary indian and educations right to sabse pehle aa gaya universalizations of elementary education right so it is already okay 745 ho gayi hai right guys so guys ab i close the lecture right guys because already you know time has Uh, already time has uh, more than you know seven thirty. Okay, so what we do that you know paper tenth, uh, then notes of NPE educational aims of a nineteen sixty four sixty six ex uh, experiential learning and ninth lean or last lesson plan. If you remember last time I took the uh, you know uh, lecture of lesson plan, ha na? I am giving you the notes. Okay, so these five notes we will discuss in the next lecture and along with the. Uh, you know new topics right guys so thank you so much for this class right so after this class i am sending you these all the things right guys okay ji thank you so much guys for your today's lecture thank you so much thank you so much sir thank, thank you sir thank you thanks thank you sir thank you thank you sir